years that you no doubt observed uh, frolicking on the screen as you settled into your seats. They are, of course, yeast. Mm -hmm. That is, eukaryotic microorganisms of the uh, fungi kingdom. Now, as culinarians, we are concerned primarily with yeast of the uh, genus Saccharomyces, which means sugar fungus. That's you guys. Now, many of these are uh, responsible for fermentation. That is the conversion of carbohydrates, yeah, like sugar, into various alcohols, flavor, and aroma compounds, and of course, carbon dioxide. That uh, makes many of the wondrous uh, edible and uh, potable uh, products possible we love. Now, one particular species of yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, or beer yeast, um, gives off, uh, well, quite a bit of gas. Making risen bread, such as this baguette, uh, possible. <laughs> All commercial yeast, be they dry, fast rising, fresh, whatever, are derived from this aerobic species, which is also responsible for creating top fermenting beers like English ale. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, now, German and Czech style lagers, on the other hand, are created by anaerobic bottom fermenting yeast, uh, such as Saccharomyces pomponi. Who's going on? That's it. That's it. While other strains, uh, such as um, 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 Britannomyces, um, give certain beers like uh, Saisons and Trappist Ales their distinctive sounds. So, now, let's see. Uh, many other yeast strains are responsible for the fermentation of grape juice into wine. Um, Saccharomyces bayonis, yeah, 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 that's the line. And then, of course, there are um, wild yeast strains, such as the notorious Saccharomyces paradoxus, which can wreak havoc on other yeasts due to their just tremendous uh, fermenting capabilities, and, of course, their gaseous productions, which are...